Hello and welcome. This is Rufalmonger, my friends. We have uh, some potentially very interesting news for you today off the back of an announcement of a very interesting event. So what you're seeing right now is the video for the latest Red Bull Kumite event. It's going to be a 16 player Invitational Street Fighter 6 event held in New York running through March the 16th and the 17th. And if you've never seen or you've never heard of the Red Bull Kumite, it's kind of a big deal. It's a very special event. The players play in a literal cage for one, which is interesting. I myself, I was actually very lucky to be at the Las Vegas Red Bull Kumite a few years back. It's really cool stuff, very high production value, very good tournament. And hey, just a shill, tune in if you can. But the news here is not the trailer, but what's on the website. So you go to the website and I'll provide a link for you in the video description as well if you want to check it out for yourself. Nice graphics, all that kind of stuff. We got a lot of blurbs about the event in general, as you should, as you do, right? Gotta hype the event. But there's some specific text here, which is uh, the crux of this video. So let's do the CSI thing here. Let's zoom in, let's zoom in, let's enhance, right? What's going on specifically here? A total of 16 players will duke it out on Capcom Street Fighter VI Season 2. So yeah, it says Street Fighter VI Season 2 in plain writing. This isn't really the kind of thing you could typo, because, you know, you'd be adding the whole word of season in there, right? And to head it off at the pass, is this a mistake? Did they mistakenly put this in here? Is this not actually it? I don't know. Maybe. I guess. Possibly. But uh, I know from experience, uh, these style events and Red Bull events especially, they know things ahead of the general public. Although it's odd we're getting the first utterance of Street Fighter VI Season 2 from Red Bull and not from Capcom. So Season 2 of Street Fighter VI has been a big bugbear for a lot of people, me especially. Uh, we talked a lot about Street Fighter on the channel in recent weeks, and a lot of it to do with Season 2, right? And always the question of when, 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 because infamously they said one balance patch a year. So if we indeed have Season 2 of Street Fighter VI here at the Red Bull Kumite, then it would logically kind of sound out here that we'll be getting Season 2 of Street Fighter VI right after the Capcom Cup. Capcom Cup X happens later on in February, I believe runs from the 21st of February to the 25th. So a day or two after Capcom Cup, looks like Season 2 could be dropping. Especially if it is at the Red Bull Kumite, it would sort of have to. But this in and of itself also raises some questions, although with potential answers as we'll get into. So how do we do season two when the season one DLC isn't done yet? Because we haven't seen hide nor hair of Ed yet, although I expect by Capcom Cup he will be announced and revealed in some way, shape and form. But that still leaves Akuma and Akuma is slated by the original trailer for spring of 2024. And I guess the easiest way to look at this then, all right, what's the problem? He won't fit in the timeline, right? Season two will be out before Akuma will be out. And the easiest fix is, hey, plans change. There was the whole kerfluffle on Twitter when they showcased Akuma for Street Fighter VI, you know, ring in the new year, all that kind of stuff. Cool, they showed off the model, great. But they showed off before they even have showed off Ed, right? They showed off Akuma before Ed. And maybe that's because Akuma's coming faster than we think. Maybe come Capcom Cup, we get Ed and we get Akuma and we get Season 2. Stranger things have happened. If you recall your Street Fighter V days, Sagat and G were released at the exact same time. And that was a bit of a surprise because it wasn't marketed as such originally. Basically, the lens we have to look at here is if we have indeed Street Fighter VI Season 2 at the Red Bull Kumite in March, then the whole timeline has to kind of move forward. And don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of that idea. My longstanding nightmare for Street Fighter VI, you know, even as someone who likes the game, is the one patch a year meant we're waiting for June of this year for the next patch. So if we can get things uh, rolling along quite a bit faster than that, count me in. Now, granted, all speculation on my behalf here, but once again, I don't think the Red Bull page is wrong. I don't think it's there by an accident. Because frankly, why would it be there by an accident? I'm taking it at face value, which means to me, Street Fighter VI Season 2 begins pretty much immediately after the Capcom Cup. And that's all the way okay with me, because it's a lot better than waiting for June for Season 2. That said though, let me know what you think. Are you excited? Are you hyped up? Season 2 might be earlier than uh, some of us may have thought. Capcom Cup's only a month and change away at this point. So let me know what you think in the comments, and otherwise, well, I guess we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some Street Fighter.